The next detail available on the air circuit breaker is a micrologic controller. These micrologic controller dial give us facility to set our air circuit breaker as per the load requirement or as per the load characteristic which is connected on that ACB. There are total four settings on a micrological controller long time setting short time setting instantaneous current setting and ground fall setting you can see here long time setting short time setting instantaneous setting and the ground fall setting so let us discuss one by one to understand this setting of air circuit breaker this is the very important part of this video the long time setting give protection against the overload but before to understand long time setting we need to understand what is nominal current and what is rated current here in our example you can see in is equal to 4000 ampere the in is here the nominal current what does it what does nominal current mean this is the maximum value of current that the circuit breaker can carry without tripping an over current relay means this breaker can maximum carry 4000 ampere of current what is ir ir is the rated current this is the maximum current that the circuit breaker can carry after adjusting the overload tripping setting this setting depends on the load current requirement what does it mean it means that the maximum current that this circuit breaker can process for the normal operation when the over current tripping setting is adjusted what uh, let me give you an example to better understand the difference between the nominal current and the rated current suppose my this air circuit breaker have a nominal current of 1000 ampere just for a simplicity i am taking a easy numeric value suppose i have a air circuit breaker and the nominal current is 1000 ampere and if we adjusted this dial on 1 then the, our IR will be as per here IR is a multiple of IN IR will be 1 into what is the nominal current 1000 so the our IR value will be 1000 ampere in this case the nominal current of the circuit breaker and the rated current of the circuit breaker is same but when we adjusted this dial to point 8 for example let us consider that this dial is adjusted and pointed then IR will be point 8 into 1000 so what would be the value 800 so the nominal rating of this breaker is 1000 ampere but the rated current rating of this circuit breaker is 800 ampere and suppose if the dial is adjusted on 0.4 then the IR value will be 0.4 into 1000 so what would be the value 400 ampere in same way if we will adjust the dial on 0.5 then the rated current of this air circuit breaker will be 500 ampere in same way for 6 if we will adjust on 0.6 it will be of 600 ampere if the dial will be adjusted on 0.7 then the rated current of this circuit breaker will be 700 ampere here you can notice that we can change the 1000 ampere breaker to 400 ampere by changing the dial to 0.4 in same way we can change this 1000 ampere breaker to 500 to 600 to 700 to 800 to 900 to 950 to 980 and 2000 ampere by adjusting this over load tripping dial so we can change the rating of the breaker at least to the 40 percent of the nominal rating to the maximum 100 percent of the nominal rating of the breaker now let me explain you why it is important or required to change the ampere rating of the circuit breaker suppose i have a load which can carry a maximum 800 ampere of current okay and this is fed by this circuit breaker of 1000 ampere nominal current rating 
For this circuit breaker, the overload condition will be when there is a more than 1000 ampere current is flowing through the circuit breaker. But for the load which is connected from this circuit breaker, have a overload condition when any current flows through this load more than 800 ampere. When a current of 850 ampere will flow through, through, through this load, then the circuit breaker will not trip. Why? Because for the circuit breaker, the overload current condition is after 1000 ampere. Then what happen? What will happen? The load will break down. But when we change the over tripping setting to 0.08, then the ampere rating of this current will become 0.8 into 1000, which will be 800 ampere. So in that case, we will meet our load requirement. As I told you also, this rated current IR is depend on the load load requirement, depend on the load requirement. Okay, but maybe you will have a question in your mind, then why we will not directly go to the 800 ampere of air circuit breaker to feed this load. Yes, it is very true. But suppose if we added 100 ampere of load to this network or to this air circuit breaker, then we have to replace this circuit breaker because this circuit breaker, which you choose in 800 ampere is now no more capable to handle 900 ampere of load. And suppose another, another example, suppose we reduce the load from 800 to 6, 700 ampere then this circuit breaker have a 800 ampere rating for the overload condition for this circuit breaker will be 800 ampere but for the load which we have connected with this circuit breaker have a overload condition after 700 ampere of current so again we have to change the circuit breaker to avoid changing of the circuit breaker due to the small changes in the load manufacturer giving this overload tripping setting to set your air circuit breaker depending on your load. Now let me discuss what is TR, long time delay setting. To understand this topic, let me take an example. Suppose this circuit breaker is feeding an induction motor. And as we know that induction motor during starting taking high inverse current and after some time it is taking only the full load current. And at the time of starting the high inverse current might be four to five times higher than the full load current or we can say that the starting current will be four to five times of full load current suppose this air circuit breaker have a nominal current rating of 1000 ampere and the motor have a full load current rating as 800 ampere so we set this dial to point it to change this breaker rating from 1000 ampere to 800 ampere now at the time of starting this motor will take a huge current which is called a high inverse current due to starting of the motor let's say this motor having a star delta connection so it will take it will during starting it will take three time of the full load current then it will be 2400 ampere of current but as we set this dial on 0.8 so the current rating of this breaker is only 800 ampere so this breaker will trip because at the time of starting 2400 ampere of current is flowing but this tripping will be undesired tripping why because this starting current is temporary it will only for few seconds maybe for three or four seconds after that one this motor will take only the 800 ampere full load current or if there is a not much load in this motor then it will take less than 800 ampere of current so at the time of starting this breaker is tripping because at the time of starting a huge current that is in our, in our case for 2400 ampere of current is flowing through this breaker so it will trip but this tripping is undesirable okay we have to stop this stripping uh, tripping so what we will do we will give some time delay and in that time delay if that current will pass then this breaker will not trip so in our example we give that the six time of ir the six time the load what is load current 800 ampere the six time is will be 
3200 ampere of current if there is a six time of full load current is flowing through the circuit breaker for for 12 second then this circuit breaker will not trip but it will trip when this come more than this current will flow for more than 12 second so in that way we will control the undesirable tripping of the circuit breaker by giving the delay i hope you understand what is nominal current what is rated current and what is long time delay setting and why these settings are required in the air circuit breaker now let us move forward to the other setting which is short time setting short time circuit setting isd the previous one is the long time setting as i told you and the long time setting is for over load protection the next topic is the short time setting which is for short circuit protection suppose there is a short circuit fault in the load which is connected by this air circuit breaker then there will be huge current due to short circuit fault this short time setting will facilitate that how much short circuit current will be allowed and for how much time we can define or we can set it by this setting suppose he this is this is a 1000 ampere circuit breaker this 1000 ampere i am taking for simple numeric cal calculation it can be anything 2000 1000 800 1600 2500 anything but i am taking 1000 ampere to have a clear numeric understanding now suppose there this this uh, circuit breaker having a nominal current rating of 1000 ampere we set it to 0.8 then the ir will be 800 ampere which i explained you earlier now we need to set now the short circuit fault rating how much short circuit fault current will be allowed through this circuit breaker and for how much time this we need to set suppose we set it at 0.2 then the isd will be two time of ir what is our ir 800 so it will be 1600 ampere short circuit fault current is always a severe current so the time setting is also is for very short duration here you can see 0.2 second 0.3 second 0.4 second so we can set it to 0.2 second 0.3 second and 0.4 second so this circuit breaker will trip when there is a 1600 ampere of current if the dial is on 0.2 second then it will hold the tripping of the circuit breaker till 0.2 second but if there is a short circuit current more than 1600 ampere then this circuit will trip it after 0.2 second if the dial is in 0.3 then it will hold this short circuit current till 0.3 second and it will not let the circuit breaker to trip but when this current will cross beyond 0.3 second then it will trip the breaker here you can see there is a black portion in that there is a 0.1 0.2 0.3 0.4 which is in the on section and there is a white section here also there is the same setting 0.1 0.2 0.3 and 0.4 in the off section what does it ind indicate in the on section it will take the action to trip the circuit or to trip the breaker but in off section this breaker will not take the action to trip the circuit breaker it will give only the alarm for the short circuit fault so here in our setting it is in the on side so when there is a short circuit current of 1600 ampere in as per our example for more than 2 second this circuit breaker will trip it under the short circuit fault condition now let us move further the instantaneous current setting there is a small difference in the short circuit current setting and the instantaneous current setting the short circuit fault setting is taking a small time that can be a 1 millisecond or 2 millisecond or 3 millisecond but instantaneous current which is very huge current more than the short circuit current and taking no time to reach that current then there is a setting for this to 
trip the circuit breaker at the instantaneous current fault. This can be due to the line search or any huge fault in the network. So suppose we have a ampere rating, nominal ampere rating of this circuit breaker, 1000 ampere. Okay, then if we will set it to at 6, then the instantaneous setting will be instantaneous setting will be 6 time of nominal current okay so it will be 6000 ampere so if there is, if this circuit breaker detect that there is a huge current with within no time then it will consider it is a instantaneous fault and it will trip the circuit without taking any time that's why there is no time setting for the instantaneous fault hope i'm clear now now let us discuss about the ground fault setting the ground fault means if any one or more than one phase is contacted with the earth then or to the ground then it is called ground fault so there is a setting for the ground fault also the knob have a arrow which will be either can be set on a b c d e f g h and j and there is a time delay also for the ground setting which can be set on 0 0.1 second 0 0.2 second 0 0.3 second and 0 0.4 second and as i explained you in the short circuit uh, time setting there is a black shed and there is a white shed black set is a on position and white set is a off position so when the dial is in the on side position then it will trip the air circuit breaker and if the dial setting is in the white set then it will only give the alarm but it will not trip the air circuit breaker now suppose if the dial is on a then this circuit breaker will tip when there is a 20 percent of the nominal current rating flowing into the ground so in our case suppose there is a hundred thousand ampere nominal current then what would be the a value 20 percent of thousand ampere so it will be 200 ampere right 200 when 200 ampere of current is flowing to the ground then this circuit breaker will trip in same way there is a different values for b c d e f and till j so but it varies from 20 percent to 70 percent okay we can set it maximum till 70 percent of the nominal current the ground fault setting is very important and useful for coordinating between the circuit breaker Suppose there is a three circuit breaker A, B and C. A is feeding B and C circuit breaker. We set the ground fault time setting as 0 0.02 second and for the outgoing feeders we set the ground fault time delay setting as 0 0.1 second for B and C. Suppose if there is a ground fault for the circuit which is feeding feed, feed by B circuit then it will trip the B circuit because the time delay is 0 0.1 second and once it trips there will be no ground fault because this hole will be disconnected from the circuit A. So this type of arrangement by using this type of arrangement we can give the priorities to the downstream and upstream circuit breaker to trip. So this ground setting is very helpful in coordinating between the upstream circuits breaker and downstream circuits breaker. Hope I'm clear with you. Hope you clearly understand the micrological controller setting that is long time setting, short time setting, instantaneous current setting and ground fault setting. Now let us move to our next detail which is present on the air circuit breaker is connection, test and isolated position stopper.